Hey guys, welcome to Power Yoga Flexibility. This class is from my new 108 day program, Level Up 108, which is perfect for students who want to level up their practice. Make sure that you click subscribe below and click on that link to get three free amazing classes. All right, let's flow. All right, welcome to Level Up Flexibility. We're gonna get started in a child's pose. Now in our, our yin practices, we focus on what we call passive stretching. This is gonna be more of a dynamic form of stretching, but the intention is really to make sure that the body is just supple, good mobility, good pliability. In many ways, this pliability is the fountain of youth. It's what really allows us to age with grace. So we'll just begin nice and easily here in an opening child's pose, just settling the mind. Just slipping into what we sometimes call beautiful state. And a beautiful state is where we feel grateful, we feel joy, we feel at peace. In yoga, this is often called sattva. And ultimately, every day I get onto my yoga mat, every day I show up for level up 108, it's a good day. Took a little bit of time out of my day. It's not always easy. I have my family and my career, my relationships, tons of errands to run. I might be traveling, but there's never been a time where I got on my yoga mat and I actually regretted it. Usually it's the other way around when I don't get on my mat, I go to sleep that night and I just feel like, man, I didn't get my practice in. Wasn't, wasn't a good complete day. Here I am. Just settling in. Start to gently move that breath in and out through the nose. The oxygen flows in on those inhales and the carbon dioxide flows out on the exhales. Just the nice steady rhythm and pattern of the breath. And then maintaining that breathing, keeping your torso down low, go ahead and crawl your upper body over towards the right side of your yoga mat, coming into a side stretch child's pose. And if you like, you can even place that left hand right on top of that right hand. And we're looking for that nice stretch across the whole entire left side of the torso. You can even take that outer left hip, draw it back to enhance the stretch. Seeing if you can breathe into your left ribs, breathe into that left lung. Good, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So just taking your time, slowly crawl yourself all the way over towards the left side of your yoga mat. And if it feels good, lifting that right hand up, placing it on top of that left hand allowing that outer right hip to draw back. And just feeling that stretch across the whole entire right side of that torso. Imagining that you're trying to fill your right lung all the way up to capacity. Come back down the middle. So both arms straight out in front of you. Extend the hands, the arms out as far as they'll go. Open the hands out just a little bit wider than your shoulders. Tuck your toes underneath the feet and then we'll come into a downward facing dog, just lifting the hips all the way up to the sky. And then from your downward facing dog, go ahead and float your right leg off the ground on an inhale. And then flow your right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat on an exhale, release your left knee all the way onto the ground, release the top of the left foot. So those of you that are practicing at home, if you want, you could always double up your yoga mat to go right underneath the left knee so you get a little extra, little extra cushion, a little extra padding or you know a blanket, just something that feels like your knee's not grinding into the floor. And uh, then we'll just climb both hands on top of that right knee, right thigh. I don't think Michael needs the double, but just good to show. 
Good, so we're in the low lunge, right knee's bending right above the right heel, and you're getting that nice stretch to your left thigh, your left hip flexor. Now from here, go ahead and reach your arms all the way up to the sky. So arms are reaching up vertical. And then take another inhale, reach up a little bit taller, and then rotate to the right. So the right arm to the back, left arm forward. And then you're gonna take your right hand, you're gonna reach it around behind the back, and you're gonna grab your outer left hip or waist. And then your left hand is gonna rest onto your outer right knee, right thigh. So coming into a wrap. Now take an inhale, lift your chest up a little bit taller. And then on the exhale, just start to peel that right chest, that outer right shoulder back. So you're turning your navel in towards your inner right thigh. Just a nice little twist, nice little squeeze. Take that left shoulder blade, press it into the back of your left chest. Give it one last little squeeze. And then turn your gaze forward, unwrap out the twist, bring both arms up to the sky, inhale, reach up. And then both hands down to the ground on an exhale, half split, straighten your front right knee, right leg, balance on your right heel. Right toes facing straight up to the sky. If you like, you could reach your left hand forward and grab your right foot, right toes as an option. And then on the inhale, extend your heart out towards those right toes. And then on the exhale, just allow your belly and your chest to melt right on top of that right leg, just stretching the whole entire backside of that right leg, your hamstring. So a really, really tight hamstring is the main culprit to lower back pain. We wanna make sure that our hamstrings stay flexible and supple so that the lower vertebra of the spine are not being compressed. So we're just gonna move through all these poses and all these sequences to just make sure that every link of this bodily chain is not just strong, but it's also supple and resilient. Now from here, right foot flat, re-bend the right knee on an inhale, tuck the left toes underneath, lift the left knee up. And then from here, you're gonna step the left foot forward, but you're gonna bring it behind your right leg. So your legs are crisscross, right legs over top the left leg. With your legs crisscrossed like that, on an inhale, extend your heart up and out, so flat back. And then exhale, fold right on top of your right leg. Two more like that, inhale, flat back. And then exhale, forward fold, let it go. One more time, inhale, maybe you get a little bit longer. And then exhale, fold down. Now this time on an inhale, rise and fly, both arms to the sky, interlace all the fingers except your indexes. And then lean to the left side on an exhale, take three or four breaths there. And again, just like you did in that opening child's pose, that side bending stretch, really feel that stretch through those right ribs, but also the lat muscle all the way down to the waist. So lateral stretch. Nice, inhale, come all the way back up. And then forward fold on the exhale, drop the hands down low. Now lift your left leg up to the sky, inhale to a standing split, just passing through it. Step the left toes all the way to the back of your yoga mat to a runner's lunge. Now step the right foot back to a plank pose on an inhale, and then lower down, chaturanga, exhale. Cobra on the inhale, glide the body through, and then down dog, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Beautiful, left leg lifts up on the inhale, and then left foot forward, top of the mat on the exhale, relax the right knee down, put padding underneath the knee if you like. And then as you're ready, both hands on top of your left knee, left eye, taking a couple breaths there to just give that right hip flexor just a nice little stretch. And that's a muscle that can get really, really rigid and really, really tight, like a vice grip. So we loosen that vice grip up, then we start to get a little bit more blood flow and where there's blood flow, there's circulation and where there's circulation, there's regeneration. Take both arms up to the sky, inhale, reach up, 
Twist to the left on the exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Take the left hand, reach it around behind your back. Grab the outer right hip. And then bring the right hand to your outer left knee, left thigh. Take an inhale, elevate tall through the chest. And then on the exhale, just peeling that outer left chest back. Just letting the breath do the work. And it feels good to just get out of the way of yourself and just trust that the breath will lead you and guide you right into that place where you belong. One last little squeeze there. Turn the gaze forward, unwrap both arms to the sky. On the inhale, maybe you lean back a little at the top. And then both hands down to the ground, straighten your front left knee, balancing on your left heel. Left toes to the sky, half splits. If you like, you could reach your right hand forward, grab the left toes, take an inhale, extend the heart forward and out, and then melt right on top of that left leg. So you find the edge, and then you just kind of flirt with it. When you find the edge, you never meet it with aggression. You always meet it with compassion. You meet it with kindness. And as Mark Twain said, kindness is the language the deaf can hear and the blind can see. In other words, it's a very, very powerful, potent force. Left foot flat, rebend the left knee, inhale. Tuck the right toes, lift that right knee. Step the right leg forward, but bring it behind the left leg. So legs are crisscross. Flat back, inhale, extend out. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Two more like that, inhale, reach. And exhale, fold deep. One more time, inhale, pull it out and exhale let it go circle the arms up to the sky on the inhale index is straight up and then lean to the right side just for that perfect touch and then now you're just breathing into your left ribs breathe into those left ribs breathe into that left lung Awesome, inhale, come all the way back up. And then exhale, fold all the way over and down. Go ahead and lift that right leg up on the inhale. Step it to the back of your yoga mat, exhale. Step the left foot back, plank pose, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, lower down. Cobra, inhale, flexibility in the spine. And then down dog, exhale, tuck the toes, hips high. Good, so let's take that. That was kind of our setup round, taking our time, really feeling the poses, making sure the alignment was dialed in. Let's take that and let's just bring it to a nice little steady flow. Go ahead and lift the right leg up, inhale. And then right foot top of the mat, release the left knee down, exhale. Inhale, low lunge, both arms to the sky, reach up. And then twist and wrap on the exhale, turning to the right. Come back to the front, inhale, arms to the sky. Hands to the ground, straighten your right knee, right leg, right thigh. Go ahead and re-bend the right knee, inhale. Also tuck the left toes, lift the left knee up. Step the right foot forward behind the left leg, exhale. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Circle those arms up, inhale, steeple. And then lean to the left side, exhale. Straight up on the inhale, forward fold, exhale. Keep the hands down, lift the left leg up, inhale, standing splits, and then step it to the back of the mat, exhale. Bring the right foot back to join the left inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Cobra inhale, open and spread. Exhale, hips high, drop the head. Other side, left leg up, inhale, top of the mat, Drop that right knee, softly exhale. Inhale, both arms float up. Twist to the left, find the wrap. Good, inhale back, arms to the sky, reach. Hands to the ground, straighten your front, left knee, left leg. Rebend the left knee, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, inhale. 
Step it forward and cross it behind the left exhale. Flat back, inhale, decompress. Forward fold, enjoy the stretch. Both arms up, inhale, index is vertical. Take it to the right side, sweet, blissful lean. Come all the way up, inhale, reach. And exhale, forward fold, let it go. Good, now lift that right leg up, inhale. And then all the way to the back of the mat, exhale. Step back to plank, inhale. Chaturanga with control, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Hold there, take a big inhale through the nose. Then out the mouth, let it go. Nice, you guys. Take an inhale, press back into the hips. And then exhale, walk or jump, both feet, top of your mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knee, sit back, chair pose, reach both arms all the way up to the sky. And just being conscious that you're not allowing your ribs to puff up and out. So there might be a little softening of those bottom front ribs coming in. Good, now take one last inhale, chair pose. Stand up, mountain pose, hands at prayer position. Release both arms down. Take the right arm up to the sky on the inhale. Circle it over and down on the exhale like Qigong. Take that left arm up on the inhale. Circle it over and down on the exhale. Take both arms up to the sky. Inhale, upward salute. Forward fold, exhale. Fluid as can be. Flat back, inhale, draw the heart out, and then step or jump back. Lower down, vinyasa. Cobra or upward dog, inhale. And then downward dog, exhale. Float the right leg up on an inhale. And then bring it to the top of the mat, exhale. Spin your back foot flat, and then come up to a warrior one pose. Just taking both of those arms and reaching straight to the sky making sure that your front right foot is a little over to the right. So your right heel lines up with the outer edge of that back left heel. And then that outer left hip turning forward, that inner left thigh spiraling back, both hips square to the top of the mat. Beautiful, now straighten your right knee, right leg. Take a big inhale, reach up, lean back, and then fold down right on top of your right leg. You can set both hands down to frame your right foot. You could use a couple blocks if you wanted. You could even place both hands on top of your right foot, your right shin. But again, just like that half split at the beginning, just allow the muscles across the back of that right leg to stretch. Now, pressing strong into the lower body, reversing what you just did, on and inhale, sweep both arms all the way back up to the sky. And then on the exhale, bend your right knee, bring both hands behind your lower back and interlace. Take an inhale, draw your chest up, lean back, and then humble warrior, go ahead and drop your torso down inside of that right knee, right thigh. And as you do that, trying to keep those hips square, beautiful. So that outer right hip draw it back, outer left foot sealing strong into the mat, and you breathe into that right hip. You breathe into where you feel the action taking place. Now pressing down into that right foot, go ahead and rise back up. Warrior one on the inhale, both arms to the sky. On the exhale, spread the arms out wide, reach both arms forward, palms to the sky as if you're just receiving the gift that your yoga practice has to offer you today. From here, spread the arms out. Inhale, reach up, warrior one. And then vinyasa, lower all the way down. Same exhale with control. Cobra, up dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Beautiful, left leg lifts up on the inhale. Top of the mat. Back foot flat, exhale. Rise up, warrior one. 
both arms all the way to the sky, feeling strong in the lower body, good, feeling light in the upper body. And how yoga really is a dance between these, these polar forces or these polar energies. The dance between motion and stillness, the dance between masculine and feminine, the dance between strength and sensitivity, the dance between power and gentleness. Ultimately, it's about finding the synergy between those and that they're actually complementary of each other. Straighten your left knee, left leg. Take an inhale, reach up, lean back. And then exhale, just hinge down right on top of that left leg. Positioning your hands wherever it feels good for you. And then stretching those muscles across the whole entire back of that left leg. Good, now pressing into that left foot on the inhale, reverse sweep, both arms all the way to the sky. Bend your left knee, bring your hands behind the lower back and interlace with your knuckles low. Take an inhale, lift your chest up tall. And then exhale, humble warrior. Drop your torso down low. So the yogis knew that as they move through the poses, as they move through the breathing and the meditation techniques, naturally, they just became more and more powerful. More powerful in their bodies, their minds, their hearts. But it's that humility, that ability to transcend the small self or the ego that allows the power to grow and grow and grow so that it never collapses. And this pose, Humble Warrior, it celebrates that benevolent quality of humility. Come back up, Warrior One. On the inhale, arms to the sky. Spread those arms out wide. Sweep them all the way out in the front. Take a breath or two there. Palms to the sky. Shoulders sliding down the back. And then reversing that. Inhale, arms out arms to the sky and then exhale vinyasa lower all the way down cobra up dog in out and down we're facing dog on the exhale all right you guys let's take that let's turn that to a little flow here so just one breath one movement you know we sometimes move slow which builds the strength he sometimes moves fast, which is good for our stamina. So let's just pick up the pace just a little bit, but see if you can do it without losing that beautiful tone, that beautiful energy that you've cultivated. Take an inhale, press the hips back. Exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees and squat. Chair pose, inhale, lift and reach. Stand up, mountain pose. Both arms release down. Take the right arm up on the inhale. Circle it over and down on the exhale. Take that left arm to the sky, inhale. Circle it over and down, exhale. Take both arms up, inhale, reach. And then forward fold, exhale, dive and release. Flat back, inhale. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa, exhale. Cobra up, dog, inhale. And then downward dog, exhale. Nice, right leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, back foot flat, exhale. Rise up, warrior one, inhale. Straighten the right knee, exhale. Lean back, inhale. Fold down on top of right leg, exhale. Come back up, inhale, reverse sweep. Exhale, bend the front knee, both hands behind the back, interlace. Pull your chest up, inhale. Drop down, humble warrior, exhale. Come back up, warrior one. Arms to the sky, inhale. Spread the arms out wide. Sweep the arms out in front. Good, inhale, open out, lift to the sky. And exhale, vinyasa, all the way down, we glide. Inhale like we're moving through liquid. Exhale, down dog. Left leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale, back foot flat. 
Inhale, rise from strength. Exhale, straighten left knee. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, fold down, hit that perfect spot. Come back up, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend the front knee, hands behind the back, interlace. Chest up tall, inhale. Drop down, get into that left hip, exhale. Come back up, inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, arms out wide, sweep it to the front. Inhale, arms out, arms up above. And exhale, vinyasa. Let the elbows hug the ribs. Cobra up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, keeping it moving. Inhale, press back. And exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. Stand up, mountain pose, arms release down. Take the right arm up on the inhale. Circle and cross on the exhale. Take that left arm up, inhale. Circle it, exhale, beautiful. Both arms up, inhale. And then forward fold, just like a moving prayer. Flat back, flood the lungs with air. Step or jump back, lower down, steady. Cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Lift that right leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Rise up, warrior one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, straighten the front knee. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, fold on top of right lap. Come back up, inhale, one breath, one movement. Exhale, bend front knee, hands behind the back, get set. Chest up, inhale. Drop down, humble warrior, exhale. Good, inhale, both arms up. Spread the arms out, reach it to the front. Good, check this out. Bring the arms back out and then take the left arm and bring it underneath and around that right arm. So eagle arms, flexibility for the shoulders. Now as those arms get locked in, go ahead and pivot onto your back left toes and allow your left heel to lift up. Take an inhale there and then shift your weight forward into that front right foot. Lift your left knee, left leg up, setting up for eagle pose. So take your left leg and then drape it right over top your right leg. And you can either allow that left foot to just kind of hang out there in midair, or you could intertwine it behind the heel, behind the calf. So you just see what works for your body. And then you take the outer left hip and then you draw it back, you suck it back. You take the top of that right thigh and you drop it down. And maybe you fall out of the pose, no big deal. You just fall breathing. Michael and Sarah are falling all over the place. That's okay. And these guys are professionals. Good, now from here, we're gonna fly away. So take those arms to the sky, extend your left leg straight out in front of you. Flex that front left foot and lift that left thigh. Take an inhale, goodbye. Crescent pose, left toes, all the way to the back of the mat. Take a big inhale, reach up, lean back, and then vinyasa, lower down as you ride the river of your breath. Cobra inhale, spread the chest. Exhale, down dog. Good, left leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Rise up, warrior one, inhale. Straighten the front knee, exhale. Lean back, inhale. Fold down on left leg, exhale. Come back up, inhale with lightness and levity. Exhale, bend the front knee, hands behind the back. Inhale, lift up tall through the sternum. Humble warrior, exhale, drop your left shoulder low. Inhale, rise, both arms back up. Spread the arms out, sweep it to the front. Good, bring them out, pause there. Now take the right arm, slip it underneath and around that left arm. So you wrap and you spiral. The arms are set, the breath is always set, and the focus, that piercing concentration set. Pivot onto the right toes, and when you're ready, shift up onto that front left foot 
and lift your right leg up. Set the right leg right on top of the left leg and just find the variation that feels right for you. This is pure flexibility for your lower body, your hips, your ankles. It's a difficult, challenging pose. And you also got a balance and you have your arms right in front of your face. So it's hard to find the drishti that's not moving because your arms are definitely moving. Now let's fly that eagle to the sky. Arms come up, right leg extends out. Flex that right foot. Take one glorious inhale, lift the leg. Crescent pose, float the right toes all the way to the back. Take a huge inhale, reach up, maybe lean back and look up. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower all the way down. Huge inhale, spread the chest, the lungs, the heart, and exhale back, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale through the nose, and then out the mouth, let it go. Oh. All right, you guys, now shift forward to a plank pose, upper push-up position. As we now set up for six yogi-style push-ups, it just wouldn't be a level-up class without six of those, right? So here we go, inhale, lower down. Exhale, press up. Good, inhale, come down. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, drop. Exhale, rise. Inhale, down. Exhale, plank. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, come up. Inhale, last one. Exhale, press up. Now hold there, take an inhale, plank. Lower, slow, all the way onto your belly. Sphinx pose. Slide your elbows forward, right underneath your shoulders. Allow your forearms to be parallel to each other like railroad tracks. And with your shoulders above your elbows and with the skin of your forearms dragging back, can you feel your heart slipping forward through your shoulders? So you're elongating your spine. And as you elongate that spine, that chest begins to broaden a little wider. Now keeping that upper body as is for a moment, just bend your back right foot in and reach back and grab your right foot with your right hand. Just grab that back right foot. Now, if you have the mobility in your shoulder, you could even spin your right fingertips forward. So we'll look at Rachel here. She just spun her right fingertips forward and that right shoulder is still drawing forward as well. Now, if you feel like you wanna add a little more back bend, you can press into that left hand and then that left elbow draws towards straight and she begins to lift that chest up. But the key is this back foot is drawing down towards that outer right thigh and we're stretching that whole right quadricep. Now, wherever you're at, give it one last little gentle squeeze and then softly release down, and then second side. So when you're ready, bend that back left foot in, reach back with your left hand, grab that left foot. If you have that openness in the shoulder, go ahead and rotate those left fingertips forward. So we're back here with Manish. Let's see if we can get a little bit more of that road. Yeah, that's it. And then you're drawing that left foot down. Option if you want to press into that right hand and draw the right arm towards straight. And this is money for the spine, money for the quadricep, huge stretch for the chest and the shoulder, brilliant. Give it one last squeeze there. Softly relax the left leg back, sphinx pose. Take one last inhale, sphinx, and then exhale, lower the chest down, slide the hands next to the ribs, cobra position. Cobra on the inhale, lift your chest, slide the shoulders back, and then down dog, exhale. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Take another deep inhale through the nose, side out the mouth, let it go. Oh, good, inhale, press the hips back, and then exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. Flat back inhale, forward fold exhale, Spread your feet out the width of the mat. Turn the toes out. Take a seat, yogi squat. So bend your knees, sit down. 
Bring your hands up to prayer position for a moment and know that you can always sit on top of a block here if you want. Now from here, drop your right arm down inside of your right leg and slide your right arm out. Take your left arm and reach it all the way up to the sky. So we'll call that phase one. If you feel like you wanna to progress to phase two, take your left hand, bring it around behind your back and come into a half wrap. If you'd like to go into phase three, take your right arm and just reach it around the front of that shin and then grab your fingertips, grab your hand. And then if that's still not enough for you, phase four, you're gonna lift both feet off the floor. <laughs> that's pretty challenging, right? Michael almost got it though. Good, now drop the right arm down, bring the left arm to the sky, inhale, and then bring the left hand down on the exhale. Bring the hands together, interlace all the fingers except the indexes. Take those arms, lift them up towards the sky. Take an inhale there, and then stand all the way up on the exhale. Turn the toes in, feet parallel to each other. Take an inhale, lift up, and then exhale, hands to prayer in front of the heart. Good, now leaning into the left foot, Lift your right knee up, grab your right shin, and squeeze your right knee, right thigh deep into your belly. Bring your left hand to your left waist. Take your first two fingers right hand and grab your right big toe. So make sure you're balancing on your left foot, left leg, and your right knee's lifting up. Now keeping your spine tall, take an inhale there, extend your right leg, straight out in front of you. And how about a little flexibility for the back of that right leg? Good, now take your left arm, extend it over to the left. Good, take the right leg and open it to the right. Open it all the way to the right. And remember to breathe. If you fall, just breathe. If you're shaking and wobbling and trembling, just breathe, it's all good. Just breathe, whatever happens. Good, Brittany's smiling. I love that attitude. That's advanced yoga. You struggle and you smile. Now bring the right leg back down the middle. Good, keep the right leg out there and reach both arms high to the sky. Good, extend that right leg out. Take one last inhale. Set the right foot on the ground. Forward fold, let it all go. Flat back, inhale, extend it out and then step or jump back, lower down vinyasa. Cobra up dog, inhale, and then downward dog, exhale. Now lift the right leg up, inhale, right foot top of the mat, exhale. Spin the back foot flat, place the right hand to the inside of your right foot, and then reach your left arm straight up to the sky, side angle pose. Now you're bending your right knee right above the right heel and you're leaning your right arm into your inner right calf. Now take your left hand and bring it behind your back. Can you guess where we're going? <laughs> yeah, all right. Right arm's gonna slip underneath that right leg. Where do you think we're going? Bird of paradise, she knew, she guessed. Ding, ding, ding. All right, bird of paradise, here we go. If you're coming with us to Bird of Paradise, go ahead and step your left foot forward all the way to the top of the mat. Now start to lean into that left foot and start to stand all the way up, lifting your spine, lifting your chest to the sky. Good, still breathing, right? Now, maybe you extend your right leg out there towards the right, kind of like you just did a little bit earlier. You've been primed. Now this is the bird of paradise. For me, I sometimes call it the bird of hell because it feels like hell, but you can make it feel good if you do it to your own degree. Good, now slowly lower the right foot down to the ground and then slowly step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat. Good, now set the right hand down, lift the left arm to the sky, side angle pose, you just reverse what you did. Now from here, reverse warrior, 
inhale, come up and back. And then both hands windmill to the mat. Pause when you touch the ground. Pivot onto the left toes and then check this out. Step your left foot forward about six inches. Six inches. Good. Now, from here, you're going to take your upper body, your torso, and you're going to rotate it to the right. And you're going to spin onto the outer edges of the feet. So your legs are in an X position, and we like to call this celibacy pose for pretty obvious reasons. Now feel that stretch through the outer hips and then slowly start to bend your knees and sit all the way down between your feet. You can always sit onto a block if you want. Good, lower body and yin yoga, what we call shoelace pose. Now take both arms, spread those out wide. Take your right arm and slip it underneath and around the left arm. So the upper body is in that eagle variation. Now on an inhale, lift your elbows up and then you're gonna lean forward and you're gonna place your elbows beyond that right knee. And then you can use that as a hook. So you press the elbow down on top of the knee and that just brings massive pliability into your shoulders. At the same time, you're in a deep stretch in the hips. Now, if you feel tense, you feel tight, you might notice the breath becoming a little restricted and constricted, but try and keep that breath full. Try and keep that breath fluid because that deep rhythmic breathing is going to help erode the tension away. And as the tension alleviates, it's a little bit like easing the emergency brake off of your car. Most people are so tight in the body, takes so much energy to move the body. So we ease the tension and now we have greater efficiency of movement. And instead of being in energy deficit, we're living in energy surplus. We have so much more vitality. Now go ahead, ease your way all the way up and then unwrap the arms and then come into a lunge facing the top of your yoga mat. So unwrap those legs, step that left foot back slightly. Good, now drop your left knee down onto the ground, release the top of the left foot. Keep your left hand down and then bend your back left foot in. And then with your right hand, just reach back and see if you can grab that left foot and just give that quadricep a deep, massive stretch. It's like you're on a mission and your mission is to bring flexibility to every single strand in the body because the integrity of the web has to do with the resiliency of every single strand or you're only as strong as your weakest link. Let's make sure that each link is strong and supple. Now give that one last little squeeze Relax that left leg back and then half splits. Pull the hips back, balance on the right heel, and then we'll start to move towards your version of a full split. So start to slide your right heel forward to your own degree. And if you want, you can always take a block just like Sarah's doing here. She's placing that block right underneath that right sit bone. Beautiful. Now, remember, comparison is the thief of joy. So you may be looking at Sarah here. She's pretty deep into the pose. And you may not be. That's okay. You do it to your own degree. Your block may be higher, or you may be so high that you can't even use a block. You just do whatever you can do. And whatever you can do is perfect. Remember, focus on effort and never the end result. When you start focusing on getting your groin all the way to the ground and then you don't get there, what do you do? You start judging yourself. You start beating yourself up. You feel like you're not good enough. And I'm here to tell you, you're perfect just the way that you are. So work with what you got and wherever you're at is absolutely, absolutely perfect.
Take a last few breaths there. Nice, you guys. Now start to slowly come all the way up onto your fingertips. Tuck your left toes underneath, lift your left knee up. Slide your right leg back to a downward facing dog. And then walk out your down dog, pedaling one heel down towards the ground at a time. Ah. Nice, take an inhale, press back through those hips. And then exhale, walk or jump, both feet all the way forward, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, extend and lengthen. Forward fold, exhale, open the feet out the width of the mat, toes turn out, heels in. Take a seat, yoga squat. Both hands, to prayer position, always an opportunity to center yourself. Come back, come back home, come back to center. And then this time we'll drop the left arm down inside of that left leg. We'll reach the right arm all the way to the sky. If that first phase is enough, you're gonna hold there. If you want more, you'll bring the right hand around behind the back. And if you still want more, you'll reach that left arm all the way around you're always making decisions based off your wisdom and not your ego because as they say in yoga your ego is not your amigo and I hear people are tattooing that on their hands now (laughs) some people need to be reminded one person said that ego also stands for edging God out keeps us stuck in the small self Now from here, left arm down, right arm to the sky, inhale. And then right hand comes down on the exhale, bring the hands together, interlace all but the indexes, indexes straight down towards the ground. Almost as if you're just shooting out any unwanted negativity, toxicity into the ground, letting it go. And then bring both arms all the way up above, take an inhale there. Straighten those legs, rise all the way up. Turn the toes in, feet parallel to each other. Take an inhale, reach. And then hands to prayer position in front of your heart. Good, now setting up for that standing balance on the other side. Go ahead and shift your weight to the opposite leg. And then you'll lift your left knee up. You'll grab your left shin, pull your left knee deep into the belly. And then right hand to your right hip, right waist. You just take it step by step, step by step. First two fingers, left hand, hook around that left big toe, spine tall and straight as you inhale. And then extend your left leg out towards your version of straight. It may not get totally straight. And again, that's totally fine. We still love you. (laughs) Take that right arm, reach it out to the right. Take your left leg, open it all the way to the left. How's that breath? Sounds like a broken record. Man, Travis does not stop talking about the breath. And for good reason, we stop breathing in those moments of difficulty. Good, now bring the left leg down the middle, grab your hips, your waist, both hands. Keep your left leg suspended in midair and then reach both arms up to the sky. Take a huge inhale, reach. Set the left foot down, fold all the way over and down, forward bend. Awesome, flat back, inhale, separation through those vertebra. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa flow. Cobra inhale, we call it the flexibility, dynamic stroll. Exhale back, downward dog, left leg up, inhale. Left foot top of the mat, back foot flat, left hand inside of the left foot, right arm straight up to the sky, side angle pose. Beautiful, now bring your right hand around behind your back. Take your left arm, slip it underneath that left leg, get the bind, get the wrap. When you're ready, step your right foot forward all the way to the top of your yoga mat and begin to distribute the weight into that right foot as you begin to stand all the way up. 
This pose demands tons of flexibility. Now still breathing, extend your left leg out towards your version of straight. If you're like me, your left leg's just kind of hooked and wrapped around that left arm. Doesn't look pretty, but that's okay. Again, you're just doing your best and you're letting go of the rest. Now slowly lower that left foot all the way back down. Step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Set the left hand down, right arm to the sky with the lower body strong. Reverse your warrior, inhale up and back. Cartwheel both hands to the mat, pause when you touch, pivot onto the right toes. Step the right foot forward about six inches or so. Good, now start to rotate your torso over to the left as you spin onto the outer edges of your feet. Now you're facing the left side of your yoga mat. You're in celibacy pose. Take an inhale, goodbye. Slowly take a seat all the way down onto the ground or block. Woo. Oh. Nice, take the left arm, slip it underneath and around that right arm. Just wrap and spiral like two snakes intertwined. And then on the inhale, lift those elbows up. And then exhale, just fold down, placing both elbows out beyond the knees. Beautiful. Stretching those hips, stretching those shoulders, stretching to the most complicated areas in the body, shoulders and hips, and also areas in the body where we have a tendency to collect the most amount of tension and stress. As they say, the body keeps the score. Whatever you move through in your life, your body stores it up. So anytime we move through things in our life that have been overwhelming, very intense, very challenging, and we haven't fully digested it or processed it, it gets stored within the joints. It gets stored within the fascia. We come to yoga and we release it. We let go of those things that are no longer serving us in a positive way. Good, go ahead and come all the way back up as you inhale. Unwrap the arms as you exhale. Make your way to a lunge facing the top of your yoga mat. Unwrap the legs and then relax the right knee down onto the ground. Release the top of the right foot. And then we'll bend the back foot in. Left hand will reach back. So opposite hand to opposite foot there. Just draw that back foot in. Give that right thigh a nice little squeeze. These guys are making it look pretty easy, you know, but the reality is, is that this is a deep, massive stretch. One last little tug, goodbye. Relax that left leg back and then half splits, hips back, balance on the left heel, full splits. This is the peak pose of this class. Full split, slide your left heel forward. Find the place that feels right for you. And maybe we can allow this practice to not only bring flexibility into our body, but also flexibility within our minds so that we're not rigid within the way that we see things. Seems like most adults, the older they get, the more rigid that their minds become. But as they say, when you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at begin to change. So it's all about perspective. And when you get on your yoga mat, essentially what you're doing is you're just training yourself. You're establishing these good habits, these good patterns on your yoga mat so that then they kick in in the real world. So you become less reactive. You're less about reactivity and you're more about responsibility. And the word responsibility means the ability to respond. When I'm reactive, I'm just a slave. I'm a victim to unconscious patterns. 
And by the time I reach the age of 35, 95% of who I am is unconscious unless I get conscious, unless I illuminate the unconscious. So this program for 108 days is about awakening. It's about illumination. It's about turning the light on, which is the key word in enlightenment to those unconscious programs and patterns so that then we can start to define who we are as opposed to being a slave to the programs. From here, ease your way all the way back up onto the hands, tuck the right toes under, lift that right knee up, step the left foot all the way back to downward facing dog. And then in your downward facing dog, take a good by inhale, just sink and stretch in. Relax both knees down to the mat. Crawl your knees forward to the top of the mat. Cross the feet behind you. Release onto your sit bones. Recline all the way onto your back. And then as you get onto the back, just grab your shins, pull your knees, your thighs into your belly. Keep your right knee in. Extend your left leg forward along the mat. And with the first two fingers of your right hand, grab your right big toe. You did it standing, let's do it reclining. Extend your right leg straight up to the sky. And then for a moment, lift your chest up, extend your left arm forward so your left arm hovers right above your left leg. Left arm right above the left leg. Now lift your left leg an inch or two off the ground and use your abdominal muscles to lift your head, lift your chest up. Yeah, there you go. So it's kind of like you're taking your left fingertips and you're reaching down to touch those toes. And your abdominals are doing all the work. That's what's supporting you. Now give that one last little reach out. Softly relax the head down, spray the left arm out to the left, and then slowly open your right leg all the way out to the right and just enjoy that big, massive hip stretch. Oh. Good, bring the right leg all the way back up to middle. Left hand's gonna reach up and grab either the outer edge of the right foot or you can bend the knee and grab the outer knee. Either way, extend your right arm out to the right and then take that right leg or that knee and just let it twist all the way over to the left, coming into a bent or straight leg, reclining twist. Oh. And bring the right leg all the way back up to neutral. And then bend both knees and bring both knees back into the belly. Extend your right leg forward. Keep the left knee hugging in. First two fingers left hand. Just reach down, hook your left big toe. Extend your left leg up to the sky. And then lift your head, your chest. Reach your right arm forward. Right arm hovering right above your right leg and maybe the right leg lifting just a little bit off the ground. One last little reach. Softly relax the head down, open the right arm out to the right like a wing. Slowly open the left leg all the way out to the left. Then left leg all the way back up to middle, switch the grip of the hands, either catch the outer foot or the bent knee, extend the left arm out to the left, take that left leg all the way over to the right. Just a deep reclining twist.
right, left leg all the way back up to middle. Bend both knees into the belly. You guys did it. Take an inhale, curl your forehead up to your knees. And exhale, Shavasana, release down onto your back. Find stillness, find rest. Shavasana. Body nice and easily, just come back. Come back to this body, back to this breath. And uh, those of you practicing at home with us, if you feel like you'd like to hold this pose, maybe you have the time, you could hold it another five minutes or so, or just go right to your meditation practice. This class is now complete, you did it. Good job, keep showing up, keep leveling up, and see you on the mat.